just beyond 2014, but they're talking about keeping NATO soldiers in Afghanistan until 2024. Another decade's worth of extension on the occupation of Afghanistan, which is something that we in Canada and the vast majority of Canadians are opposed to. Poll after poll after poll has said we do not want Canadian troops to stay in Afghanistan past 2014. Yet we know Stephen Harper a couple of weeks ago made, a, well hinted anyway, that there was a possibility that Canadian Special Forces would be part of this new strategic partnership and would stay in Afghanistan until 2014. And we're out here to say, as many of the signs around here say, don't extend it, end it, and bring the troops home now. We are also out here to commemorate another issue that uh, the Peace Alliance and many of the groups who are here want to talk about. We want to talk about the fact that we are this week, it was actually on Wednesday of this week, was the anniversary of the Nakba, of the catastrophe which saw hundreds of thousands of Palestinians being removed from their homes after the Israeli Declaration of Independence. And we're going to stand up here to say the same thing that we have said many times, freedom for Palestine, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. That's one of the issues that we're going to be dealing with here today as well. And the other thing that we have been talking about here, and there are a number of representatives from various communities organizations in this crowd today, we're going to be talking about the drive to war with Iran. It is very, very crucial that all of us, all of us who are here today, take home some of the information that we have about the war in Iran, why it is that we need to stand in opposition to it. Because we know full well that for years and years and years and years, the US government and various other NATO countries have had their sights set on Iran. We don't know what's going to happen and we don't know when it's going to happen in the sense that we don't know if there will be an attack anytime soon. What we do know is that they are going to punish the people of Iran either way by imposing some of the most rigorous sanctions that we have ever seen imposed upon an other country. And that's actually going to be coming up this July 1st. It is a declaration of war against the people of Iran, those sanctions that are going to be put in place, because it is going to mean thousands and potentially millions of Iranians who are going to suffer incredibly under this sanctions regime. We know what sanctions did in Iraq. We know that a half a million children were starved to death as a result of the sanctions that were imposed upon the regime in Iraq. And it didn't weaken Saddam Hussein, it just killed well, almost a million Iraqi civilians, and that's something that we are out here today to stand up and say no to. So we are standing across from the U.S. consulate because we want to obviously talk about the U.S. as a lead role in NATO, but we also are here to say to, uh, to Stephen Harper to stop Canadian militarism, to bring our troops home from Afghanistan, and to not attack Iran. In the United States at the Chicago demonstrations this week, it was quite fascinating to see. They did a demonstration that started at Barack Obama's campaign headquarters in Chicago and then did a march, something that we haven't seen in a long, long time, to protest at the Canadian consulate because Canada is now being seen as one of the international players that is really pushing for the war in Iran, that is really pushing on any international stage that they can find to promote militarism, to promote NATO as the global cop. And we need to stand up to Stephen Harper and say, no to this. And so we're going to chant to the U.S. consulate across the street. This is one that people have heard before. Hey, hey, USA, how many kids did you kill today? Hey, hey, hey USA, how many kids did you kill today? Hey, hey, USA, how many kids did you kill today? Hey, hey, USA, how many kids did you kill today? All right, we got a friend down here making it nice and nice and loud, but people have to be a little bit louder than that. Let's start with something a little bit different. From Afghanistan to Palestine, occupation is a crime. 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 Thank you very much. We're going to start with a few of our speakers who are going to be coming up here today. The first speaker, I'm going to have to get you to get off your banner now that I've got people helping you hold it, is going to be Ali Ibrahimi. He's one of the founding members of Afghans for Peace, and he's going to talk to us about the work of Afghans for Peace and the campaigns here to bring the troops home from Afghanistan. Ali. Thanks, Sid. 